Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for lead reflection leaders today are Lucy Patterson and Kieran Smythe, pupils of St Andrews RCA Secondary School in Glasgow. Presiding officer, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to deliver today's time for reflection. I'm Lucy Patterson and this is Kieran Smythe. We attend St Andrews Roman Catholic Secondary School in Glasgow. Last October, Kieran and I joined hundreds of other students from Scotland to visit the Nazi concentration and de death camp Auschwitz-Birkenau as part of the Holocaust Educational Trust Lessons from Auschwitz project. I'll never forget seeing the belongings of children and babies on display. The clothes and shoes were tiny. There was a broken doll in a cabinet that had been taken from its owner before she was murdered. The doll in the cabinet that had been taken from its owner represented the broken lives of babies and children that had been torn from their parents. It's hard to believe that anybody could harm a tiny child in that way. They didn't know what was going on. Their innocence and vulnerability made it hard to look at the cabinet. I wonder, at this day, what the children murdered at Auschwitz could have grown up to do and become had they lived. The theme for Holocaust Memorial Day 2015 is keep the memory alive, something we must all strive to do. Lucy and I heard the testimony of Holocaust survivor Ziggy Schiffer as part of the project. Ziggy told us at Auschwitz he was stripped of his belongings, his clothes were taken, his head was shaven, and valuables such as family photos were taken away from him. It's hard to imagine that Ziggy, as well as so many others who went through this tragedy, were stripped of their identity. When I tell people about my experience of the project and ask them to remember the victims, I'm sometimes asked why. Why should we remember something that happened so long ago? I tell them this. Six million Jewish men, women and children were once murdered. Each one of them deserves to be remembered. We must also remember the stories of those who survived. I want survivors like Shir, Ziggy to know that their stories will live on because I will retell them as an ambassador for the Trust. The Holocaust also holds, holds particular relevance here in Scotland. The Nazi targeted Jews of Europe for complete destruction. The persecuted other groups such as homosexuals, people with disabilities and Roma gypsies. We know that sectarianism is well documented here in Scotland. There is ongoing tension in our communities. The Trust ambassadors around Scotland have seen firsthand what happened when persecution was allowed to reach its most extreme from under the Nazi regime. Together we can work to highlight to people here in our communities why we must never again let such a disgraceful crime happen. I will tell people what I saw and learned at Auschwitz. I want my children and my grandchildren to know why we must never allow the past to repeat itself. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We now move to topical questions.